Hello. Well, what we got here, I'm just going to draw us a right triangle. It's not going to be in the right quadrant, but it'll work. So what we got, sine of theta is negative 7 over 25. So if we let this, whoops, i got to change that to a letter, don't I? So we'll say this is theta. If the sine is negative 7 over 25, this is going to be negative 7. And my hypotenuse is going to be 25. We need to find this side. We're in the third quadrant, so this number is going to have to be negative. So negative 7 squared plus x squared equals 25 squared. So 49 plus x squared equals 625. Oh, let's do 625 minus 49. X squared equals 576. I don't know if that's a perfect square or not. Let's find out. Well, it is. You get X equals 24. So in this case, it's going to equal negative 24 because, like I said, we are in the third quadrant. Excuse me while I get some popcorn out of my teeth. Now we've got all the numbers we need to get these trig functions. So for A, cosine of theta will be negative 24 over 25. B, tangent of theta, will be 7 over 24, because I have a negative 7 over a negative 24. Cosecant of theta is just the reciprocal of sine, so it's going to be negative 25 over 7. Secant of theta is reciprocal of cosine, so we're going to get negative 25 over 24. And last but not least, we do cotangent, which is the in reciprocal of tangent, so it's going to be 24 over 7. And there's your five trig ratios.